anybody who's looking for more definition in their eyes or anybody that wants their eyelashes to look thicker is a great candidate for lash enhancement. I'm Jackie and I'm getting a lash enhancement done today. My lash journey consists of everything that you could possibly do to get your lashes elongated and look more full. Mascaras, buying the best curler from Japan, buying serums, glue-on lashes. I always have eyelash extensions. I canceled all my appointments and for like a month's time I was like rubbing my eyes, trying to get them off my eyes to get ready for this. I want to get this procedure because doing my makeup is a chore. I want to do anything that will make my life easier. I'm doing this for nobody else but myself, so I can look at my face in the mirror and enjoy it. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. So we're going to do a lash enhancement today, correct? Yep. I'm Callie Smith. I'm the owner of Fiction Cosmetic Tattoo, and I am a cosmetic tattoo artist. I have been a cosmetic tattoo artist for six years here in Echo Park, Los Angeles. I originally was a makeup artist for years and I also worked in a tattoo shop. I kind of combined both my jobs into one and that's how I got started. I got my brows done by Kelly and I trust Kelly. We're gonna take what you already have and we're just gonna bump it up a little bit. Cool. All right, let's get started. Okay. I'm most anxious about the pain, if it's gonna hurt. Here's hoping it doesn't. <laughs> So lash enhancement and eyeliner tattooing are very different. So the eyeliner, it's typically permanent. Um, it's like a one and done thing and it's done on the outer eyelid. Lash enhancement is semi-permanent, lasts about one to three years and it's the inner upper waterline that we're tattooing. For Jackie's color, I will mix together the black that we have chosen, and I will also add a little bit of red. The reason that I'm adding this drop of red is for long-term results. It's gonna help the pigment from cooling down, so it's not gonna turn gray or blue. It's gonna stay that nice, true black over time. First, I'm gonna lay Jackie down, and we're gonna apply her first numbing. It's gonna sit on for about 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and remove that numbing. We're gonna wipe it with a cotton round and some saline. Then I will tattoo each eye one at a time. Since we have applied that numbing to her eye, she shouldn't feel any real pain or pinching or stinging. She's gonna be feeling more of a vibrating sensation than pain. I am using a cordless rotary tattoo machine, which is super, super gentle and soft on the skin. After we get the skin broken, then I can apply our secondary numbing. I'm gonna apply that with a micro brush. It's gonna sit on for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to wipe it away and we will do our next layer of tattooing. Lash enhancement from start to finish, from when you walk into the door to walking out the door, typically only takes an hour and a half and that's including the numbing time. Then I'm going to repeat the process three to four times until the pigment is built up and looks like a nice, natural, even result. So the lash enhancement, it is on the upper inner waterline, but it's not like in the eye. The way that I'm able to flip the eyelid and stretch the skin, we're literally tattooing like right where your eyelashes grow out. So it's not deep into the eye, but it is farther than on the eyelid.
Once I feel that the tattoo looks nice and complete, I'm going to have her open both of her eyes and just check the symmetry, making sure that the lash enhancement looks nice and even on both sides. Once I am done with that, I'm gonna hand over the mirror and make sure that Jackie's happy as well. Okay, hey, open your eyes. <laughs> crazy. Whoa, makes like a crazy difference. Does this go darker or lighter? It's gonna fade like 20 to 30%, just depending mm -hmm. on your skin type and aftercare and everything, but it should stay pretty like true to how it is. My initial reaction was, it was exactly what I wanted. It gave me like a little bit more jizz, but also wasn't like super in your face. So I'm super happy. I expected a little bit of pain, like I was super nervous about it, but it just felt like somebody was like itching my eye for me, which was kind of relieving. My first reaction to how the lash enhancement looked on Jackie was, it was perfect. I was super happy with how it turned out. It was a small enhancement, nothing crazy, but it definitely made a big difference. Kelly told me for the healing process, it's gonna be super easy, honestly. Tonight, maybe sleep a little elevated if I feel like it's gonna be swollen. And honestly, tomorrow will probably feel a little bit spicy, but other than that, she said it's super easy and I'm looking forward to it because she told me I shouldn't work out, so. <laughs> I would say this procedure usually costs anywhere from $300 up to $600. Lash enhancement typically lasts a year to three, just depending on the person and aftercare and their lifestyle. I do recommend coming in about every year just to bump it up again and add back to it. I will be coming back in a year's time to get this touched up. Hopefully I can get it at the same time as my eyebrows. I love working with Jackie. Um, I've worked with Jackie before and she's super, super great. She really listens. She takes great care of her cosmetic tattoos and we see that in the long run as well. The lash enhancement just really made me feel like when I look in the mirror, like I feel more awake and alive and less tired. My advice to anybody who's interested in getting this is to just do it. It's super quick and not painful at all and the end results are amazing. Hey guys, so this is my one week follow-up video. I just wanted to update you as to the healing process. I got my lash extensions put back on. The healing process was super quick. I'm super excited and I'm happy and it's made my life so much easier. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.